All right, tell us what made you look St. Caroline. Um, basically, I had spina bifida when I was born and had some operations. Right. Um, so I had to learn to walk again. Yeah. And my right leg is shorter than my left leg, so as you can see, it's gone that way. Yeah. But I've also had somewhere, obviously with the leg being weaker, I twisted the foot a few times, and over the years the bones have got weaker, so as you can see, it's kind of sticking out. And it's, yep. But the pain is coming from around here in the back all the way down. Right. There's always kind of like a heaviness right. there all the time. Okay. Um, and movement is hard, but you know, particularly get up in the morning, it's like I couldn't just bend. It would take me a long time to physically be able to get out of bed or, you know, to get up. Yeah. yeah. Right. So we've. So firstly, I'm just going to look at your foot compared to my foot. Yeah. That's it straight. Yeah. So. so you can feel it sort of turning outwards. It is because if you look, yeah, that's you know that would be my knee. So if you can imagine, the ankle yeah. shouldn't be there. It should be, as that one is. Yeah. 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 And uh, you can see where it's putting pressure. Yeah. But, and you, but you were also aware that you feel like there's a block. Yeah, it's, it's starting from here, it's from here and the whole way down. Yeah. You know, we'll <coughs> right. So that's what we're going to work on. We'll work on clearing that block. Whether we'll see an improvement in this right in front of our eyes, I don't know. That may take longer, but certainly we should be able to get the block clear. Yeah, I can tell because, as I said, there's like constant, it's like a, a nagging pain in that because of the way that the foot is. Yeah. It's the pressure of it, if you know what I mean. Yeah. And it, I tend to limp. The more walking I've done, I'll limp more. Yeah. If you know throughout the day, or it'll swell up more. Yeah. Right. So uh, we'll need a spoonful of that purple powder again. The other one. Yep. And then we'll get you to shuffle round on the chair that way. Get you in the yeah, that way. And I'm going to work on your back first. Yep. The surgeons work, they're not trying to fix, they just bring their conscious awareness in. Your higher self then draws from them whatever it is uh, you need. So, Dr. Augusto, when I first started working with him, I was very much in awe of him. And to help me not be so in awe of him, he said, Look, if you've been in spirit world for 200 years without a wife, <laughs> not having to pay bills, cut the grass. You would think and act as I do. Yeah, he's had 200 years without wife, kids. It's a long time, isn't it? And so that's why he's as good as he is. He's just dedicated himself to learning how to use energy, light, and sound <coughs> to affect physical matter, as in our bodies. <coughs> the sound comes in, what does that feel like for you? A bit funny, like pulling, you know, like just weird around that area. Yeah. Okay. So as I started back there, they brought me in quite quickly because this is a physical condition. It's not simply a mental or emotional cause. It's physical. Um, it's like thick mud, the area of the back from the waist down is like thick mud, it shouldn't feel like that. They're working mostly at the moment on the left side and they're getting energy going between, it's five or six vertebrae I would say. As they get the energy going they then generate ex excess energy, that's what gets slapped, uh, clapped away. Now how's your spine feeling at the moment? It's a bit tingly, a bit like, it's odd, it's a weird thing between tingling and pulling. Yeah, cool. Um, when you say pulling, in which way is it pulling? 
it's, it's like not one part, you can just play if someone was going like that. Yeah. You know, there, kind of sort of area. That's cool. Now he's actually looking at the vertebra of the spine. He's looking at the integrity. Right, this time they need you to walk around because as you walk around and as you'll ground out through the feet, but also they'll see how those individual vertebrae are working together. A bit better? Yeah, my foot feels a bit better. Awesome. And it's feeling quite twisted, you know, sort of the pressure, it's not, yeah. Can I sit back? Or yeah, sit back down again, same, same position. So each of these is called a healing pass. <laughs> sound's gone into the shoulders, predominantly the left shoulder, but a little bit over to the right, and it's going down to about there on the, sp on the spine. <coughs> that sound is being used to clear the left hip. The left hip's feeling a lot better, as far as I'm concerned, from what they're showing me. And now this is dislodging. There's a big lump of energy in the right hip. That's where the main problem is. Right, they've taken some of it out, but not all of it. And you can see the surgeon scratching his head. It's like, how are we going to get the rest of that out? Now, sometimes they don't take the energy out. Sometimes they just re-resonate the energy within that area. Right. Scratching head again. Right, they need you to walk again. As you walk, they're just going <coughs> to check everything's where it should be. How's that feeling as you're walking? Yeah, it's a lot better. It's yeah. Not as, it's like, because it tends to be like that. It's a bit more, yeah. It's freer. Yeah, yeah, for real. Oh, and then, yeah, sit down again. Cool, God bless. God bless. All right. Now, what Dr. Augusto now is doing is he's bringing in an energy of gratitude. And he's bringing it in for the whole audience. So just bring your awareness into your heart center. And just allow yourself to sense the energy that's in the room through your heart center. He's bringing in a very, it's very peaceful energy, but it's a feeling of deep gratitude. What he wants us to understand is that how we vibrate determines what we draw to us. We've been conditioned to believe that our feelings are based on the life we're experiencing and whether that life we're experiencing is what we want or not. But he's sharing with you tonight that if you come into yourself, into your heart centre, and if you operate out of a place of peacefulness, and gratitude. What will happen is that energy will firstly flow through your body, generating better health, because you'll be more relaxed, the digestion will work better, you'll think more clearly, heart rate will come down, and then that energy is going to ripple out into the world, and it's going to start drawing to you those people, situations and opportunities that match the energy that you are. You are creators here in this reality. Don't be at the whim and effect of everybody else how they are. If you're surrounded by headless chooks, you're likely you're going to become a headless chook. If you can find this calmness within you, you can bring it into the world. E Dr. Augusto is saying to you is that from a very young age, you felt very different to other people. Can you remember that? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Anybody else in the audience remember feeling different, feeling like you were different? Yeah. Yeah. And that, 
And it's true, you are. You're different. There's nobody like you in the whole of creation. There never ever will be. You're unique. And you're here to be you. Whatever that particular blend of choices is, you're here to be you. And if you listen to your heart, if you do what feels right in your heart, your life will unfold beautifully. If you try and do what you think other people want of you, like I went to be a bank manager, that didn't work for me. It wasn't what I wanted, it was what my parents wanted, my dad wanted. You've got to do what's right for you. And so your gift to yourselves this evening is to give to yourself the freedom to be you. Just recognise, free to be you. I am free to be me. I am free to be me. Right, we're going to get you walking again. <coughs> as well again to see how that foot and ankle is that's not as turned out as it was is it no oh that's awesome give a round of applause